these are the brand new gimbals from DJI, the RS3 and the RS3 Pro. And DJI has really been killing it lately and it's no different here. There's a bunch of great upgrades to these two, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna skip over the whole unboxing and balancing side of this since there will be 50 of those in no time, I'm sure, and I don't care. Though the one thing I will say about the balancing is that I'm loving this new fine tuning knob. Balancing can be such a pain, but here it's been made much easier and I do appreciate that. But I have these two all set up and balanced and both the RS3 and the RS3 Pro have the same stabilization algorithm, which offers adaptive optimization for different uses like enhanced stabilization with vehicle mounts and other scenarios. Because these bad boys can disconnect from the battery base and be rigged for all kinds of uses, but we'll talk about that later. Both of these gimbals are equally as silky smooth and both have wireless control through built-in Bluetooth. So I could flip on Bluetooth for my Blackmagic 6K Pro, then connect it right on my gimbal so I can trigger recording right here. And of course, you can see the new touchscreen here, a bigger 1.8 inch touchscreen and redesigned UI, which is much easier to navigate and switch to what you need. Which speaking of switches, we now have this physical switch here to quickly shift between PF, PTF, and FPV modes. The FPV switch can also be customized to other modes like 3D roll 360, and I do love some 360 roll. Then you have one feature that both the RS3 and RS3 Pro share that I love, and that's the new auto lock. Usually you'll have to go one by one, locking each axis of the gimbal so it doesn't flop all over the place, then go back through and unlock them one by one again to use it. And I'm always forgetting in both directions, and it's a real pain, but now we have automated axis locks. So now when you turn the system on, it automatically unlocks itself. And when it goes to sleep or you turn it off, it automatically locks itself again. And it only takes two seconds to happen. You can also adjust how you want the automated locks to behave. You can set it to recenter and lock, fold and lock, or fully fold and lock. It's a simple thing, but huge when you're run and gun. And you have a solid payload with the RS3 at 6.6 .6 pounds. And of course, you have more room with the Pro at 9.9 .9 pounds. And there are more differences than that. So let's shift over to the Pro. First is the extended carbon fiber axis arm. You've got more strength and distance here, so you can use a bigger Pro camera without banging into the back. But here, probably the thing that has me the most excited is the inclusion of the LiDAR auto focusing. And really the main reason I don't opt to grab a gimbal most of the time is the focusing issues. We are often running guns, small crew, and no time. So the need to set up a wireless follow focus system and get someone to pull is often enough to keep me from grabbing it. So the fact that they've added LiDAR focusing tech that I gushed all over in our Ronin 4D review has me very happy. You just mount the LiDAR rangefinder to the camera, then connect up the new focus motor. Now we'll come into to the menu, swipe over and go into our LiDAR menu. Then I'll come in here and set my focal length and start the calibration. Should do it very quickly. If the motor spins out on the lens, you probably just need to secure it more on the bar and try again. After that, I'll need to find a spot I wanna focus on and walk to about one meter distance from it. Then I'll move back to about four meters from the spot and pull focus again. Then hit to accept and I'm good to go. Now I can film Justin expressing himself through the art of dance while in perfect focus. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. It's because I'm better than you. Now, why am I better than you? Let's look at the facts. Fact one, you pee standing up. I do not. Fact two, you have tiny, tiny baby hands. I do not. Fact three, you also have a tiny, tiny baby brain and don't use NordVPN to protect yourself on the internet. I do not have a tiny, tiny baby brain and I do use NordVPN. And that is what makes me better than you. As we speak, there are people who are trying to crawl into your internet brain cavity and take a peeky peek at all your deepest, darkest secrets in your web cerebellum, like tax evasion. <laughs> I, what is that? I didn't. So be like me and be better than you and start protecting yourself with NordVPN. And right now you can get a two year plan at a huge discount plus one additional month free when you go to nordvpn.com slash film riot. Now I travel a lot doing totally legal work and traveling can bring my important totally legal information into places that leave me metaphorically butt ass naked on the internet. 
metaphorically. And to stop these degenerates from breaking in and stealing your data, that's when NordVPN comes in. You just get an account, download the app on your computer and your phone, then just sign in, turn it on, and that's it. But when you need that extra security, NordVPN's advanced threat protection feature is the digital place for you. Threat protection stops cyber threats before they can do any real damage to your device. It makes your browsing safer by protecting you from malicious websites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads. And once you enable the threat protection feature in the NordVPN app settings, it protects your browsing even when you aren't connected to a VPN server. And on top of all of that, one account lets you connect and secure up to six different devices at the same time, so you can protect you and all your legally obtained devices that you've obtained legally. <laughs> so grow your tiny, tiny baby brain and head over to nordvpn.com slash filmriot or click the link in the notes below and get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus one additional month free, and it's all risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So put your tiny, tiny baby hands to work and start protecting yourself with NordVPN. <laughs> Back to the delicious autofocus, you can tap here to cycle between your focus options, including single point to drag and select an area. And in wide mode, you can flip on auto select by clicking the trigger and it will then follow your subject. Up on the actual module, you have two buttons, this one for shifting between auto and manual focus, which you can focus manually here on the focus wheel or by a wireless focus puller if that's what you want. Then here you can shift between your calibrated lens profiles. In this system, you can store up to three sets of lens calibration profiles so you can switch between those lenses, then just switch over to the corresponding lens profile and move on. Then similar to what I showed a second ago, you have active track. Here you can select your subject for the system to track through the scene. And it's impressively solid, even with fast movements. And this is very helpful when doing a running gun shot or some other shot when you can't focus on keeping perfect framing. Because here the system can worry about that for you. Or even if you want to film yourself and don't want to stay stationary, set the system up on a tripod and shoot away while wide open for shallow depth of field, all while staying in perfect focus. And here's what that looks like in practice. I have the system set up by itself, which is active track to me. The lens is wide open. It's pulling focus by itself. I'm the only one in this room and I'm monitoring it through my Hybrite monitor, which is being sent its signal through the transmitter right under the camera. And I can move all around and this thing is going to follow me perfectly. So I can pull off a shot like this on my own, in my studio, by myself, and have something completely usable that, again, I'm able to monitor right here as well. But you still can have a remote focus puller, of course, with the best way to do that being to couple this with the new DJI transmission, which is another feature that I gushed all over during my Ronin 4D review. The external monitor and handles are really excellent additions to this rig, and the wireless transmission was shockingly good. So like the LiDAR function, they broke this out on their own too. So now I can connect the transmitter right down here and send the signal from my camera to the DJI transmission. And with the handles on here, I can pull focus and of course control the gimbal remotely. So I can have my operator running the move while I control the gimbal and focus, or set the whole system down and use it as a stationary remote head. Their transmission system is great too, but I'll get more into that in another episode. There's also a lot of accessories that make life easier with my favorite being these handles. The center grip is great, especially for controlling things mid shot, but moving your hands away and having points of control is really useful. You can also shift the configuration to have it behind the gimbal, and you have a lot of mounting points here for whatever you need. But the main selling point for me would be that autofocus, the auto lock, and the Bluetooth capabilities. Of course, everything else is great, but those three add a lot of conveniences and simplicity in how you go about your production. And it's a small and light system, so you can pull off certain shots that would be more difficult with larger systems, and it's just perfect for single shooter scenarios. But another aspect is the fact that it's scalable. I love of the ecosystem DJI is creating. Here you can pop the head off of the gimbal, go with an external battery source, and use this to connect to a jib, camera car, and so on. So again, even though this is great for stripped down production, you can rig this out for the biggest productions as well. And a lot of the additions here that we've talked about are all around helping you shoot faster by getting the gear out of your way. And again, I love that. If you wanna know more about the RS3 or the RS3 Pro, check the links in the notes below. Both systems really are great. It's just a matter of your crew size and 
and needs, I think. But that is it for today. If you're not subscribed, consider doing that and hit the bell to be notified when we put up more content. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, and repeat.